I now call on Natalie Loveless from the Department of Art and Design to tell us about her KIA-sponsored research cluster, Research Creation and Social Justice. Natalie? So first, let me say what a pleasure it's been to hear the amazing research that my colleagues have been presenting. And to end these three-minute presentations, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about the Research Creation and Social Justice Collaboratory. The Collaboratory is an interdisciplinary unit working to develop the critical discourse of research creation as it applies to issues of social justice. For those unfamiliar with the term, Research creation is, broadly speaking, the name we have here in Canada for what internationally is known as, alternately, practice-led research, um, research-led practice, practice as research, creative research, artistic research, and or arts-based research. The Research Creation and Social Justice Collaboratory is made up of an interdisciplinary group of researchers from across the University of Alberta's many faculties. The U of A co-applicants are pictured here, as well as a select group of international and national researchers from, so far, York University, Concordia University, Emily Carr, and the University of New South Wales. So while there are many things that can be said of research creation, we consider its most vibrant potential to lie in the particular kind of interdisciplinarity that it demands. Instead of a now normative interdisciplinarity that brings together different disciplinary literacies but that focuses on a single formal output, such as a monograph, the interdisciplinarity modeled by research creation argues for multiple formal outputs that, while sometimes dissonant in terms of their languages, are equally weighted as objects of and contributions to knowledge in the academy. Research creation, in other words, asks us to really grapple with the challenge of understanding not only that dance or drawing methodologies can form the basis of a research practice, but that a dance or a drawing can also function as a legitimate research output. There's so much more that I could say here, especially since this sometimes sounds like I'm saying that all art is de facto research, which I'm not saying. But to address that will push me way over the three minutes. So if you're interested, come talk to me and let me end by outlining the theme that we've chosen for the first year of our collaboratory. So the cluster's 2016 and 2017 research theme is Arts and the Anthropocene. In alliance with feminist and decolonial critiques, as well as emerging critiques at the intersection of critical disability studies and the Anthropocene, we ask, one, how does debate on the Anthropocene and related though not identical concerns with climate change shift how one engages in meaningful arts theory and practice today? Two, how might a non-human exceptionalist and decolonialist approach to our environment offer a particularly potent way forward in the face of anthropogenic climate change? And three, what can research creation as an epistemological and methodological intervention contribute to these debates? At the end of the day, we are most interested in how research creation practices can spark intellectual and affective shifts, not only to help us understand social injustices, but also move us forward to imagine substantial social change. Thank you. Thank you.